So an interesting article I wanted to share with everybody, and it's called the 10 best dive watch brands you don't know about. Now, m- most watch aficionados uh, will have heard of some of these brands, but maybe there's one in here that, that you haven't heard of. First up, we have Ajir. Now, this one that we're looking at uh, right now is the CD2, uh, or it comes in a CD2 or a CD Tech 1, which is a rotating bezel or fixed bezel. It's got a 42 millimeter case, water resistant to 701 meters, uh, <laughs> which is better than 700 and I guess not as good as 702. Um, but there you go. I mean, I'm certainly never going to need it. Uh, it has a Soprade 10 movement. And the starting price for this watch is sixteen hundred dollars. Uh, it is quite nice. It's it's interesting, different, uh, it's substantial. Uh, Forty two mil, not not a bad size. I think most people are pretty comfortable with that. Or it's you know on the bigger side for for some of us that have smaller wrists. Next up is the Aqua Dive. Uh, this is a legendary dive watch brand. Uh, from the past, returned in two thousand eleven, has the same case as the bath escape model from the 1970s uh, it's a 43 millimeter case also comes in a 47 millimeter case both up to 3,000 meters of water resistance uh, they have different functions and movements depending on the model that you get uh, there's even some new old stock models that are available uh, prices start at $990 uh, I'm not personally a huge fan of the style case, uh, but you know if it's your style, maybe worth checking out. Next up here we have Germano and Walter. Uh, this is from Pietro Germano and Alexander Walter. Uh, they've been offering these watches in small numbers out of Germany. Their current model is the T500. Uh, available with an ETA 2892 or an NOS 2472. What's really cool about this is that the bezel can be locked with a second crown that you can see here in the picture at the 4 o'clock position. The prices for this piece start at 3,700 euros. Uh, This has a similar case, case styling to the one previous, the Aqua Dive. Uh, but I had not heard of the Germano and Walter brand till I read the article, so that's uh, it's interesting to take a look at a new brands. Next up, we have the H2O Hellberg. Um, these are also it's also a German brand introduced in 2011 and 2013 from Clemens Hellberg. The maximum water resistance of 6,000 meters. Um, You know, to a certain extent, I I feel personally that, you know, the meter depth resistance on some of these watches kind of ends up being a little bit like the the power reserve, you know, 90 hour power reserve, 84, 140 hour power reserve. Uh, It's it's nice, I suppose. But I mean, I'm never going to use a 6000 meter water resistance, although, you know, it's nice that it has it. Uh, I do. I do like the look of this one a little more than the previous two, but it does have a similar case, which, you know, I'm just not overly fond uh, of the case styling, but uh, again, it's it's different. Uh, next up here, we have PETA, which is a Spanish AH, AHCI member. Uh, it's got, a, it's a pretty unusual dive watch. It's powered by a base caliber from ETA. Uh, up to 5,000 meter water resistance. The Oceana does not have a crown. Th- this is pretty interesting. It doesn't have a crown, and it's operated via its case back. Uh, so in that regard, you know, it's almost very different to your standard dive watch. You know, you're used to having either a very large crown with these ever-present crown guards, and the crown is large enough to be handled with gloves on, so on and so forth. So. You know, of all the ones we've looked at so far, this one's very different in that it doesn't it doesn't have a crown. Uh, it's operated via the case back, so it's very interesting. Uh, but the prices start at four thousand five hundred and seventy-five euros. So, uh, how much do you like it? I don't know that I like it four thousand seven five hundred and seventy-five euros worth, but it is very it is very different, uh, and I do quite like the look of it. So let's see what we've got next up. We have the Suse Mechanica. 
In 2011, this is a French, freshly launched Swiss brand, uh, started with the SM8 collection. All the dive watches are water resistant to 200 meters and feature an internal bezel uh, that can be operated after the slider is moved up or down. Uh, the movements for a single pusher chrono, GMT and three hand models come from Concepto. Prices for this piece start at 11,900 euros. Now I must admit, um, I do quite like the look of this one. I think it's just because it's so incredibly different. It's almost futuristic in a sense, has that Panerai uh, feel with the style of the crown guard. Um, but it's different. I quite like it. I mean, 11,900 euros though, but you know, I guess if you've got money to, if you've got money to throw around, which, you know, I don't, but I do like the aesthetic of it. Um, and you know, 200 meter water resistance, so not 2000 meter water resistant. Next up we have Squale. Uh, I think Squale has been covered, you know, in detail. Um, I did not throw it in the article. Please check the link to verify that. It was included in the article. Next up, we have the Tempest Computare, which was launched in 2010. A uh, Swiss brand to combine a rather unusual 40, 47 millimeter chronograph model. Uh, strong commitment to the protection of the ocean, uh, which resulted in a watch that was made for the Sea Shepherd organization. Both the Shark Watcher and Sea Shepherd models are based on the Valjoux 7750. Prices start at about 7,000 euros. Uh, I do quite like the look of this diver. It is, it's striking. Uh, it's very different. Uh, I do think it's beautiful. I, I find myself partial to, to chronographs to begin with, which is a bit odd since I don't have too many of them in my collection at the moment. Um, but I do quite like the look of this piece. It's very, very nice. Obviously a very reliable Valjoux 7750, uh, 7,000 euros though, but very beautiful. I'd never heard of Tempest Computare brand. Uh, so very nice. Next up, we have UTS München. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, but this one has been around since 1999. It is a German company that's offered some substantial dive watches with the brand's signature lug design. Uh, models, some of the models are equipped with bezel locking mechanisms and some are water resistant to 4,000 meters. Prices on this model start at 2,500 euros. Uh, this is a beautiful, a beautiful piece. It does remind me a bit of some Seiko models. It has a very commanding uh, presence. This looks like it weighs a ton, um, but I do quite like the look of it, but it does look um, about the same weight of the hammer in my toolbox, uh, but quite nice, quite nice. Next up, there is the Vintage VDB. Uh, as the name indicates, the brand is also from Germany, specializes in vintage-inspired dive watches, as is quite obvious by the piece that we're looking at here. Uh, the team behind VDB recently started to offer the annual additions to meet a growing demand. Prices for vintage VDB start at 1,190 euros. Uh, I do quite like this piece. I mean, the case is... Um, you know, I don't normally actually like the, the style case. It is a very vintage style case, but I do quite like the dial. Uh, the bezel is obviously very simplistic. You have simply the loom pip at the 12 o'clock position, a very patina style coloring to the dial on the hands and the hour markers. Uh, a little bit different. Normally you see the orange minute hand and here you have the orange seconds hand, uh, which, you know, it, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. So there you go. That is 10 dive watch brands that you may not have heard about. Uh, so if you have any other dive brands that, that you think, uh, you know, may not be as widely known by watch aficionados, please go ahead and, and put it in the comments section. Uh, if you have uh, any, any comments or opinions about the ones that we've looked at here, please go ahead and put it in the comments section. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and check out the other videos on the channel. All right, guys. Thanks. CG out.